episode of FPNN. Today is Wednesday, January 16th in the 96th day of school. I'm Mariana. And I'm Nicolette. Now to Kirsten for the pledges. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Fruitville Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Kirsten. That was great. Now it's time for Pirate Trivia. The number to call on your screen is 50612. Today we'll be answering caller number one. The question is, how many bones do you have when you are born? The number to call on your screen is 50612. Hello, whose class is this? Okay. Who's speaking? Landry. Do you have the correct answer? Yes. What is it? 300. Woo! The correct answer is 300. You are born with 300 bones, but as you get older, you, they fuse together to form a total of 206 bones. Now to Amari for today's menu. Today we'll be having nachos of chili and cheese, bean and cheese burrito, ranch chicken BOT salad, steamed broccoli, baked potato, garden salad, baby carrots, diced pear cup, apple slices, and soy fruit juice. Arg. Amazing job, Amari. Now for some upcoming events. Are you getting your sponsors for the annual Jogathon coming up on January 25th? Make sure that you are working with your family at home to, to, home to, to track up those sponsors. We will also be participating in Spirit Week. On Tuesday, January 22nd, is Favorite Sports Today. Wear a t-shirt with your favorite sports team. On Wednesday, 23rd, is Wear Crazy Sock Day. Make sure to wear your craziest socks. On Thursday, January 24th, is Neon Day, so wear your neon clothes and more. On Friday, January 25th, is Jogathon, and you will receive your t-shirt in the morning from your teacher. Hey, Nicolette, did you know that next Tuesday is the 100th day of school? That morning after the announcements we will be participating in the school-wide stem challenge where each cl classroom will be trying to create the tallest tower out of a hundred cups watch this short video to show you what we are doing starring captain french and professor jaffe yeah. good morning i'm mr jaffe and i'm mr french and we have some exciting news it's coming up the hundredth day hundredth day school hundred day challenge that's right we're going to be stacking a hundred cups this morning and i want you to get a sense of what's going on to celebrate the hundredth day we have we're going to have your class break into five groups each group gets a hundred cups and then there's going to be a challenge to see how high can you make a stack you're going to get three tries and we're going to take either the best or the average of your heights. Shall we try? Yes, you're going down, Mr. Jack. Not a chance. You're going down. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do 60 seconds of a test and see how you can build the highest freestanding tower. Are you ready? Let's go. I got this. Start. I got this challenge. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. I think I can do it here. Oh, no, I gotta go a little wider. You should have brought a timer. <laughs> oh, now when you're doing an engineering challenge, what you've gotta come up with is, yow, a design. That's not even higher than that, Mr. J. I gotta, I gotta rethink my design. Huh. You gotta come up with a design. I gotta think my Re design. Replan it. What's your goal? The goal is the highest one possible. We've got 25 seconds oh left. Oh my, I can do higher. We've got and 25 seconds left. I gotta change my, change my philosophy here. Oh. 15. Oh, I think we can do better. Oh, 
Oh, I'm going down. <laughs> I'm going now, down. Don't forget, in the back, you might want to be more stable. It's always good to have another plan and it's time. Oh, I look at that. Wow. I'm, I got whooped wow. today. Wow. <laughs> but you know what? I'm a thinker. I'm a thinker. <laughs> but boys and girls, that's why we have three separate times. So now Mr. Yep. French has an idea what I can do a little bit better to get up to Mr. Jaffe's height. Because uh, like mm, not even close, Mr. Jaffe took me down today. So Excellent. that's all right. I got two more chances I can get better. Right, and you know what? You got two chances. We're going to be collecting data. We're looking forward to this. It's going to be a challenge. And the nice thing about this is the class with the highest, either average or best, gets fabulous prizes, as does the teacher. That's right. That's just, so there's sort a of teacher incentive in this one as well. So, so three builds, Tuesday morning between 8.35 and 9 o'clock in our intervention time. Let's see which class can build the highest tower. Well done, Mr. Jaffe. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you. All right. you get me next time. I <laughs> well, Ariana, exciting. Now it's time for Wellness Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we will be giving tips on how to stay healthy. Tip one, be physical. Exercise at least one hour a day. Turn off the TV and put away the video games. Now to the kindness crew for hashtag kindness and deputy Brian. Good morning, Fruitville Pirates. It's great to see you on this Wednesday morning. It's a great day for kindness, and it's a great day to be a good listener. We are talking about listening all month long. That's our Civility Squad trait of the month. Remember that you have two ears, but only one mouth the better to hear everyone out. So think today about listening to friends, listening to teachers and substitute teachers, following directions because that shows kindness and respect in your classroom. So speaking of listeners, we do have some new students, or not new students, but students around campus in a new position. We have new safety patrols. So since we started after winter break in our second semester, you may have noticed that there's new safety patrols in different spots around campus with those bright yellow belts. So speaking of listening, those are some people that you students need to be listening to. They will remind you ways to stay safe, such as walking and following directions. So please show them respect. Now Mrs. Spinelli has some ER cards showing kindness and listening. Good morning. Just a reminder, when your name is called, please go to Mr. French's office so that you can pick out a prize. These students are showing either good listening skills or being very kind to peers or teachers, and we want to recognize them. Cadence Waters from Mrs. Dendy for offering to let a student join her group because she didn't have a group. Dan Medina from Ms. Bernstein, thanks for finding and returning our passport. We have Travion from Mrs. Inger for being respect, having respectful discussions with his classmates. We have Catalina Uribe from Kaylee helping me when I had my hands full. We have Isabella from Lily for being kind to everyone. And then last but not least, we have Genevieve from Gabriella for being kind and helping me get a wet, wet paper towel for my hurting eye. All great examples of students showing kindness or good listening, and we love to hear about it. So keep the good work up. Now we have Officer Bryant for some important information. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. This is Officer Brian, and I'm here for your safety tip of the week. Today, we're going to talk about school safety. School safety involves everyone here at the pirate ship SS Fruitville. So first and most important, we must listen to and follow the instructions given by our teachers or any other adult, especially those great staff in the cafeteria. Also, we need to be quiet and always stay calm. So if you're quiet, you're going to be able to hear all the instructions that are given. And with that, I thank you very much. And I remember, think safe and be safe. Have a great day. Thank you, Kindness Crew and Officer Brian. Saga Club and Girls Sports Club meets today. 
and thank you for watching another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Ariana. And I'm Nicolette. We can have a wacky Wednesday. Stay tuned for a word from our sponsors, the Yearbook Club Committee. See you tomorrow! Yearbook flyer. The price for the yearbook is only twenty dollars.